it's been a long time since my last video that has been uploaded so today i'm just gonna short a video that i have gone through your comments and i got a request that how we can do a circle frame because a video that i have uploaded how to do a custom picture but it was like a triangle shape and it's not like a circle shape so which i was doing some exercises and i found this type of shape that i have made it so you can just change it to a picture but i just did it a form wood like you can just take the concept from this one how i insert the picture and the same thing you and at the same time you can just do the same thing that you can upload a picture over here just like inserting um how you can insert a picture or um it's like a paint frame and then you can add it and i have made a videos of that which i'm gonna put a link you can go through it for now i'm just gonna show you quickly how i can make this entrance like a circle shape that i made a sample of it let's go to the ground floor um there is like a few steps which can we do which is the same like this one the first thing is like you can do a circle by going all the way straight uh to this one which is um line tool or you can just go straight to the slab tool but when you do the slab tool a circle you will st still need a line which they're gonna draw for you i mean like um, a circle tool that is gonna be draw for you a circle to make some cut between each of them so what i'm gonna do is i will go with the circle tool first and then i will just gonna go first with 300 and then just draw a circle okay and then the second one will be uh, 250 oh, okay and then draw a circle and then this is 300 250 we'll make another um we can say uh, like 350 bigger one okay and we made a circle now we have three circles what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna separate this one and then now I'm gonna bring a circle. I um, mean, sorry. Now I'm gonna click on the slab tool, and then there is like the custom, which is geometry method, and click on that. When I click on the center, for example, I'll click here. There is like an arc one, arc by center point. Just click on that, and you just make a 300, and then it will make for your circle. Okay, and then one more. We're just gonna make 200 uh, 250 I mean and then we make another um, sorry just click on this again and then 250 and then we make a circle and we have 350 we just click on the circle so as soon as you click on a center or anywhere point you just need to click on this one the arc by center point and then you just type how many diameter distance arc you can have 350 and then you just close your circle once we finish that we just click this one uh, you know control D and then you're just gonna go through this one we just try to put them all in one section which is this one the same one okay and then this just take it here and then now uh, which we're gonna a little bit make you to more concentrate about your circles so now we have here one i'm gonna click on this one which is uh clicking all the way circles and then drag i will make a shift copy and then i will make one of them in this section and then shift another one in this section okay and then i will take this one Just to keep it a track okay oh one more thing i might make a little bit circle looks like this so we're gonna just drag it a bit here sorry i'll just that's why i just try to select all of them together we just make a selection of all of them in one section okay okay and then we'll take one more this one similar to this one which I'm gonna take this one to make it easier okay and we have similar that's it so 
now we have this all same cell cores that come into inside I uh, will just manage the, um, the thickness we'll make it dirty and then once we finish that one now we can start cutting them off or we can make the upper layer the lower layer different colors so we're just gonna turn them all the lower layer we're gonna make it um, metal like we're gonna go with iron and then this the edge I'm gonna go with like yellow or golden color which is this one and then the top one what I'm gonna do is like select the type this maybe and then this and this will make them I believe yeah let's go with that for example we make them a mirror a glass mirror and then this two we'll keep them as it is same old okay so now once we did this so you click on this slab once you click you're gonna get this minus clicked on because I have I was working on it but it is subtract from polygon and just click on your keyboard space and then just did you can do this one okay sorry because I have clicked two of them just click this one and then space and that's it and then if there is something like you just click on the point again you cut it from the same circle so we're gonna keep this one as it is a wood one and just I will do this one to be because it's a mirror I'm just gonna cut it here oh sorry I'm just gonna go back I'll cut this one here and then click on this one cut it so we have here half and then this one might be let's see on 3d how it's look like let's go out just a little bit tricky okay this is it uh, this is the one I'm working on now okay. okay so this to our wood we try to keep this wood over this one we cut this mirror now uh, let's go to the wood one which is this uh, we'll click on this one and click on this and then minus which has showing me there is out of the line which I'm gonna fix my circle to be at the center uh, that's why I'm telling you like try to make it on the center of your uh, the slab in the center of the line it's easier for you to cut it oops let's go again here and then one more this one okay I'm just gonna fix this one as well I will just click on this one position and I will just turn it to this point okay oh my god okay let's fix this one and that's it uh, let's see again which section we need to cut uh, we have fixed this two and then left with these two of them either I'm gonna cut this one over this which I'm thinking to do it because I'm gonna keep this one over here so I will cut this section and then I will keep for this one which I'm gonna cut this one and I will keep this one so let's see so clicking on this one click on here and then minus and then just start cutting click again cut click again uh, might be tricky now for me click again that's it so now i have these two things which is this and this so either i keep this one either i have to cut this one which i'm thinking to keep this one and then cut this wood one okay let's see how it's gonna look if not nice we're just gonna remove it uh, one more click on the point and then space okay let's see how it's look like it's look much better it's not bad but is it good to keep the wood over this one uh, to be honest <laughs> so I'm just gonna return it back yeah I like it over there click on this one it so cut off this one and then click on this one okay, I'm just gonna click again 
it's like that is the main thing I keep talking so it's a good to um, what is called uh, you have a good cut between them and then you put the circle between them much better which is now it's showing me there is some line over here which I don't like it and another one over here and then I have this one as well so I need to decide which one I should cut which is this one more easier let's have a look yep and then here one okay and then I need to fix this one as well so I'm just gonna go here okay I'm gonna fix my circle one more So now we have finished this one. We don't need this actually. We finished them now. So I'm gonna click on this. Uh, I usually do change the line coloring, which um, you need to go to get like you need to go here, change the pencil to black, which might need it for sometimes, not all the time. But um, I keep going through each model and I keep changing the floor pencil if need to be changed. And like that but it's fine overall just like skip it's black so it is nice for now it's good so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click them all overall and then right click convert to selection to merge I will just this one is gonna pop out and just say okay and then if you want to move it it will be moved all together which is good I'm just gonna move them a little bit far that I can work with it. It's gonna be it's looking showing me there's a similar thing, that's why. I'm just gonna move it over here. And then click on this one now. Okay, which is more fair. I can see it. Okay. So at this stage it's showing me here, but I wanna um rotate it upward, which means that I wanna rotate this section, which I need to move it here and which I need to move this elevation and sorry this elevation you can find it in a viewpoint you click on elevation tool and just try control E and then rotate it and I'm gonna just move it a little bit here sorry move it here all good and then I will click again so we're gonna click on overall so which section we want to rotate it which means it's visible this section at the top right so we're gonna go all the way up from right to the left section like anti-clockwise and then just gonna go like this all the way up here let's see if there is something missing there is something missing which is i need to fix that because when you convert it um because the slab is separate is not one section so my change so you want to just focus on I mean what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 3d to see what is happening so it can help me if we get everything on side which is not I believe it's this one that has not been into it so more easier for me is just to bring this one here and then did it then I can work a front view which is here okay let's now change it it's so good to make it more bigger so you can fix yours if it's not fish you know oh my god so this is interesting so might help me with going to the point here yep 
let's see how it's going look like looks good not bad to be honest yeah not bad so this is how it's look like at this stage and then we click on this and then we try to move it a little bit so you can do a group which i believe doesn't work but you can try to make it grouping just like that for the sake of like you can move them all together i just click on them all all the way together and then i move it over here to be honest so that's how it is like and you just rotate it i can put it in that section to be honest but yeah let me put it in this section and uh, let's see how it look like i will bring the elevation as well because might be it's underground or lesser than that sorry i'm just gonna move this one all the way here and then we try to open it again okay changing positions change everything <laughs> so you see it's lower so we're gonna just move like this and then move it drag it up and then we can just put it here and then we're gonna go to the view and this is how it's look like but yeah as i mentioned in the beginning you can change it that would uh, template texture to a picture you can put a pictures around you can do different designs like I have made also a mirror triangles uh, you can do a mirror picture frame anything as you like and yeah please I'm gonna go through you guys like your comments which you are requesting me to upload a video or explaining for you in different way I'll try my best so yeah if you have any questions please comment down below this video and please don't forget to subscribe and like and share and thank you for watching.